I want to get your perspective around what's changing in the in the architecture of the of the internet and the internet applications um, that drive that. Obviously, the systems that drive everything have storage, they have compute, they have I/O, network transport, and now applications on the iPhone or mobile devices or the web need to leverage that that environment, and we're seeing that in two massive surges around cloud computing and the rise of the computer at the edge, the mobile device, the web app. So, so what's your take around Node.js, Node this Node Summit event, and, and I.O. in particular? Oh, that's, uh, that's a great question. And uh, uh, it's, it's great to be here at the summit. There's a, a buzz, there's a huge number of young, extremely uh, talented uh, programmers here. And they're tackling the problems of this mobile computing, attacking the problems of vast amounts of messages going between people from machine to machine, uh, their, their mobile messages. And what they're doing is providing a framework where very high speed transport of these messages, uh, an analysis of these messages, usage of these messages is going on. And uh, the, it's, the speed is more important than uh, uh, absolute certainty of delivery of the message. So it's, it's a new paradigm and obviously that's going to be a culture shock as it goes into the enterprise, which it, which it will. Um, it'll be a culture shock against people who are used to guaranteed deliveries, uh, absolute certainty, acid properties of database, to be dealing with uh, uh, environments where guarantee is not absolute, uh, acidity is not absolute, and they will have to find new ways of, of solving these problems. So it's a very exciting time. So, so let's just talk about the applications on the web. So the web, we're all used to Facebook and chat and, sure. and instant messaging. Yeah. But we, mm -hmm. we now have you know, moved from this PC era to an era of mobility where Absolutely. you can have a cell phone, ha be logged on at home. So all these things are going on and massive amounts of people can connect to any different application at any different time. Mm -hmm. uh, it puts a new kind of, uh, new constraints on subsystems or these, these computing Ab systems. So what, what, yes. describe that a little bit and what that means and, and the challenges of a developer who's just writing code, JavaScript or Absolutely. building a game. Yeah. Um, you know, all this stuff has to take into account all this complexity. You, you, you have to abstract it out as much as possible and rely on uh, great standards like HTML5. You can abstract as much as possible out into uh, uh, platforms like uh, Node.js and make it quick and easy and simple to develop these applications with, with less skilled people. And that's what the, 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 the joy of Node.js is, is that it's, it's so simple, so quick and uh, easy to develop. Uh, it's a sets of nodes being spun up all over the place and, and in, in interfacing with each other and relying on services from other parts of the uh, infrastructure to do the delivery to the Android or the Apple or, or, uh, or uh, uh, do the delivery across uh, on a global scale or planetary scale across the, the whole network.